Doesn't it look like a real pie? Well, let's see what happens when I pick it up. <laughs> What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys five cool pranks you guys can pull off from friends and family on your next gathering, whether it's Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner or any time of the year, whenever you have a family gathering, you guys can pull off these pranks. So if you guys are excited about that, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and check it out. When it comes to family gatherings, you'll always find styrofoam cups, styrofoam plates, anything that you can throw away because, you know, you have a lot of guests. People don't like washing dishes when there's a lot of them. So if your family's like mine, we're gonna have styrofoam cups. So here's two pranks that you guys can set up on your friends and family. First, get a cup from the stack, and pretty much what we're gonna do is remove the bottom. So I got my blade right here, and I'm just gonna remove the base of it carefully gonna go all around until I have completely removed it perfect look at that now we're able to pop it out like nothing but we're not we're actually gonna leave it in place we just made the cut so that when somebody pours a drink it'll start spilling out basically that's it guys put this back in the stack like that and when somebody pulls it out, they're not really going to notice the cut underneath. And when they pour themselves a drink, this is what's going to happen. Okay, let's get some of my favorite soda, which happens to be Mountain Dew. <laughs> Look at that. Instantly. Pretty much this can't hold up the weight of the soda, so it's going to cave in. And of course, it's going to cause that spill. And nobody wants to clean that up, right? I know I didn't, that's why I didn't pour a whole bunch of soda into it. So that's a little spill that we'll create. Now, if they're not even paying attention to what they're putting into their cup, they might end up making a bigger mess. Let's see that again from a different angle. <laughs> see, look at that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop because I'm making a mess and this video contains a lot of messy pranks. Now that I've cleaned up that mess, let's make another one. And for that, we're also gonna need some cups it's gonna basically have the same effect, but we're gonna set it up differently. So here we have an empty cup. Nothing fishy about it, nothing strange. You know, it's just a regular cup. Well, we're gonna booby trap it. And to do that, we're also gonna remove some pieces of the bottom. So you guys can remove any pattern that you want. I myself am gonna cut like half moons, a shape like this, see? You guys can do that or you guys can do a star, it doesn't matter as long as there's an opening down here. The difference between this and the last prank, well, is because some people like drinking their, their sodas or juice with ice. So the last prank wouldn't work because if you put the ice before the soda, the ice is so heavy that the prank just wouldn't work. So if you're in charge of getting people drinks, you can pull off this prank. So what we're gonna do next, guys, is we're gonna get some cotton balls and put them in there. The only reason why we're putting cotton balls in here is because they absorb the ice, which we're gonna add inside. It'll start melting. Well, the cotton is gonna absorb it, so there won't be any leaking. It won't give away this prank. So now that we've added the ice, the cotton balls, and the openings on the bottom, this prank is good to go. Just give this cup to your victim, let them know that they can pour themselves anything they want, and when they do so, this is what's gonna happen. Let's switch it up this time and add some orange soda. Crush. All right, guys. So this is what's gonna happen when your victim gets some soda. Slowly, look at that. <laughs> and when they pick it up, it'll start leaking. So yeah, guys. That's a little mess that'll freak them out. They won't know what's going on. Why is my cup leaking? Well, there it is. That's the reason. They're holding their cup and they're pouring themselves some soda. <laughs> and that's how you can get your victims at your next family gathering. What I have here is a plate of mashed potatoes. Usually you'll find this at a Thanksgiving dinner. Now, when it comes to Thanksgiving dinner, a lot of families use a lot of those disposable plates, cups, forks and spoons. So I figured why not set up a prank and try to get somebody at the dinner table. So let's say you're in charge of serving up your guests, right? You're gonna 
you're gonna give them their plate with food. Here's an easy way to set up this prank. Let's say they're having mashed potatoes. Well, let's get a fork and begin trimming it off. Right here I got some pliers, but you guys can use scissors. And I'm just gonna trim off the teeth of it. So this fork is gonna be toothless. See? Perfect. <laughs> That's how it should look, guys. So basically, at this point, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna dig it in to their food. It looks like a normal plate. It's got their mashed potatoes and it's got their fork or spoon. They'll never be able to tell, but when they begin eating, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> they got a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> it's just the smallest practical joke that you guys could possibly pull off at a dinner table. Here, we're gonna pull off a prank using a pie tray and a styrofoam bowl. So basically what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna remove the bottom. This one already has a circle there. So I'm just gonna follow along and remove that circle. My circle turned out smaller than I thought it would. Okay, but that works. Look at those edges, guys. Be super, super careful because you might cut yourself. And I don't want you guys cutting yourself, so please avoid getting cut. Up next, we're gonna place the bowl inside the pie tray like this, and you guys can secure it on with some tape, like I'm about to do so right now. I'm only gonna use a few strips. All right, so the bowl isn't going anywhere, as you guys can see, and through the bottom, we can clearly pour stuff in there, and that's what we're gonna do right now. You guys can pour whatever you want in there. I'm gonna go with some Diet Cola. But you guys, like I said, can try anything. I'm gonna flip this upside down, like this. Okay, so now that it's positioned, I'm gonna pour some Diet Coke in there. Just like this. Perfect. That works. Next, I'm gonna take a glue stick, and around the edges, I'm gonna apply some of it. So basically like this, around this little circle. Then I'm gonna take some paper, this is plain line paper from a notebook, and I'm gonna place it over the glue like this so it sticks on. And this is where it gets tricky guys. We're gonna flip this over, so it might spill a little, it might not, depending on how well you guys do this. Let's see how well we can execute this prank. So I'm just gonna flip it like this, and then pull out the sheet of paper. Perfect. See, it spilled just a little, and that's fine. No worries. I'm gonna wipe this down. Don't you just hate it when you forget to press record? Well, guys, I missed a step here. Basically, what happened was, I spread some whipped cream all over the plate, covering the bowl inside, and covering the soda that was there. So now you can tell your victim, hey, can you go get me that pie in the kitchen? And when they pick it up, the following will happen. Doesn't it look like a real pie? Well, let's see what happens when I pick it up. <laughs> oh no, that's a big old mess. I didn't think it was gonna get that messy. But, <laughs> see guys, I did cover it with whipped cream. It was holding the soda in there. And when I picked it up, all the contents inside, which was just Diet Coke, came out and it made this big mess. Well, it wasn't gonna be this big of a mess, but my rage made it messier. Oh no, I don't wanna clean this up. This, let's say this is the snack table at your next party. Well, here's an awesome, awesome way that you guys can booby trap a cup of soda. Basically how the setup needs to be is that there needs to be a table with sodas. Right here I have two choices. One a least popular and then this one the most popular. And you're also gonna have some cups. You're gonna have the cups in front of the soda. But one of the cups is gonna be attached to a rubber band which the other end is gonna be attached to the wall. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. First I'm gonna take the rubber band and I'm gonna slice it like this. On one end, I'm gonna tie a knot just for better grip. This is pretty basic, guys. Just like this, I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna tape it onto the cup. See how the rubber band is now attached to the cup? Well, the other end of the rubber band, we're gonna tie onto this push pin. 
Now this push pin is gonna go through a wall. So pretty much the wall back there, that's where it's gonna go through. Here I have the cup, I'm gonna lay it down on the table and then the push pin, I'm gonna insert it through the wall like this. I'm gonna pull on the cup just a little and then I'm gonna place the most popular soda like this. So if Mountain Dew is the preferred choice of everybody, use Mountain Dew. Add some ice to make it more realistic. All right, now this, I'm gonna leave empty. There's no soda going into this, but I do have the ice there, just so that your victim can pour himself or herself some soda. Like I said, that one's gonna be empty. It's only got ice in there, but these are gonna have this orange soda. There's one. This is the booby trap one, remember guys. All right, now it looks legit, right? It looks normal. Okay, so from this angle, nothing fishy about it. There's nothing suspicious, nothing going on, right? Of course, from this angle, you guys can see what's going on. Clearly, it's booby trapped. But your victim doesn't know that. They're attending a party. They don't expect to get pranked. Well, they're about to get pranked. So let me show you guys the demo. Let's say that I come into this party and I see cups filled with crush. There's an empty one right there. So I'm gonna get my favorite soda, which is Mountain Dew and pour it on there. So I'm gonna grab the bottle of Mountain Dew and pull it up. And when I pull it up, the rubber band is gonna pull back and it's gonna cause a big spill. Watch. <laughs> All right, prank time. I want some Mountain Dew. <laughs> Look at that mess. No, that is horrible. Yep, guys, that's what's gonna happen. It's not something I wanna clean up, guys. It really isn't. And those guys were five pranks you guys can pull off on friends and family at your next gathering, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas. Like I said, it doesn't matter. As long as there's a party with people and food, you guys can definitely pull off these pranks. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, checking out this video, I really appreciate it. I'm super excited about Christmas and I hope you guys are too because in my upcoming videos, I'm gonna be pulling off some pranks showing you guys some cool hacks and you guys don't want to miss out on that. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the post notifications turned on. I'll see you pranks in my next video. So here's the balloon guys. It's about half the size of the gift box. So I'm just gonna put it inside, put the cover on and the prank is set. It's time to dump some baking soda inside. So I'm gonna dump the whole box in there actually. <laughs> <laughs> it might leak out depending on your bag, but actually it's, it's leaking out a little. As you can see, I got a bunch of fart bags in there. That'll totally be a stinky Christmas in the morning. Oh, man, I, 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 I'm not kidding, guys. This, oh, this stuff really, really stinks.